Hey up guys, Shane from the Staffordshire Search Channel. I'm here to review the Nocturne Macro Premier Shovel. I tried it yesterday in some very, very hard conditions. I think I've seen enough of it to know how good it is. Now it comes in two parts. Pretty damn small when it's in two parts. And when it's put together at its top, because it has four adjustments, but at its top, it's about about three, three and a half foot. It's pretty big. And at its small, I'd say it's about two foot. It's not very, uh, not very big at all, it's smallest, but it's still, it's bigger than a mini shovel. If you see the mini shovels of the uh, hardware stores, the one I used before, it's still bigger than that. Main thing that sticks out of it, it's heavy, but other than that, it's a pretty shovel. It's yeah, absolutely beautiful, well made. It's got a measurement all the way down the back of it. Don't think you'll be digging 18 inches down, but it's got a measurement there. Teeth, two different sets. Pretty damn sharp. These ones are really sharp. And then two bottle openers, which came in useful yesterday. And at the bottom edge, serrated and sharpened. Not very sharp now, it's been hit a few times, but still serrated. And really wide foot pegs on it. So yesterday, didn't have a problem with the foot pegs. Didn't find myself slipping off them. In the plow, considering we haven't had, we've had no rain for about 10 days. It really was still hard. This still was hard to dig through it and it was pretty sharp when I started. It's, it found the pasture up easier, but I wouldn't say it was dramatically easy. The plow was ridiculous and I'm used to using a round neck shovel. So your usual probably about yay wide, takes about four turns round it to make a perfect circle plug to pull it, pull it back out. This takes about six to seven because it's so much thinner down here and I'm used to the width of this with my shovel. So it took some getting used to, but it was pretty easy once I've sorted it. The other thing with it was when digging your plugs, the downside is I think it was very hard to get the plug out of it. At full extension, trying to save my back of the wear, it was hard to get it out of the hole. Once you cut the plug, you kind of had to kick the end of the shovel or push the end of the shovel to get it out because it was so, it's so one end heavy. But digging wise, couldn't knock it. The ground was full of pebbles. The ground was solid, no rain for ages, and it still managed to cut through it all. So it's definitely sharp. Now walking around with it, left shoulder, detector on the right. At its short, it's like this, pretty comfortable. It is heavy, so it started hurting my shoulder after a while. So I did switch to this. But what I did find is at full extension, it was extremely heavy on the shoulder because obviously it's sticking out a lot further and the further it sticks out it's hurting even more but that's just sheerly down to the weight now at full extension there's a little bit of wobble in it as well a tiny i mean it's it's minimal it's being picky but the second you put it into the second third or fourth there's none none whatsoever it's What else about it? Here we go, the damage. So, you can kind of see, considering I was hitting rocks and bricks with it, it took a little bit of damage at the end, but not much. And per personally don't think it's gotta be hard to sharpen that back up if I needed to. Let me go see a bit like that. I absolutely love it. I think it's a bloody beautiful shovel. And I think it's going to last a very long time. It's very strong. The TIG welding in it is beautiful. Hats off to the guy who's done it. But 
this. I probably wouldn't recommend it for anybody who suffers with a bad back. I wouldn't recommend it to anybody who suffers with bad joints or shoulder pain and so on. I don't think it's very prosthetic. It's very pretty, it's very shiny. Yes, it does as well. 70 pounds worth. You probably expect it lighter. I've seen other shovels, carbon fiber and so on, which are a lot lighter than this, but it is stainless, so it's gonna be heavy. And there we go. Now, question is, would a or would a normal shovel dig as well as this one? Would your hardware shovels dig as well as this one? Average UK weather, yes. Without a shadow of a doubt. This dry weather, or if you're from the USA or anywhere which is a lot drier. I can see you snapping a lot of the shovels that I used to use compared to this thing. I can't remember the last time I've seen it this dry in the floor and this hard to dig. I do apologize for the birds, they're driving me insane. But I wouldn't I wouldn't dismiss one. But I wouldn't be your first buy. If you weren't getting into metal detecting and you were unsure on whether you were going to continue with it. I wouldn't go buying a fancy shovel for 70 quid. Not in the UK anyway. But it's... I really like it. Can't say otherwise, I think it's beautiful. I think it's fancy, I think it shows, I think it digs, it's gonna look amazing. And I couldn't find anything wrong with it other than the weight. If you think I've missed anything or you want to know anything else about it or possibly another review, let me know. Hit a like or a comment down there and hopefully see you tomorrow. Cheers guys.